you are welcome to our next class and today's class lesson note four we'll be treating the topic classification of foods into constituents and nutrients my name is dr sabuin henry and i believe that you are prepared for this class it's going to be an interesting one just like this lady on the screen i expect you to take notes i expect you to listen carefully and enjoy the class remember if you have any question type your questions on the google classroom uh comment session and then we'll take it up from there don't forget it's very important okay classification of foods into constituents and nutrients and so in this class today we'll be seeing the different classification of foods and we'll be talking further on them and so we'll be seeing water the macronutrients and the micronutrients and then we'll be seeing the non-nutrient components as well so let's start quickly so that we finish on time and you can take your time to do further um, checks or research using your test book now for food constituents the main components of food that contribute to the nutritional value include number one water number two macronutrients number three micronutrients and then you have the non-nutrient components so let's go back and discuss them i have told you the importance of water in the last class and we said the sources we talked about the structure uh, and its importance in the system one major importance in the system is that it aids digestion and in the case of hydration it plays a major important role and indeed the cells need water now water is vital like i've said and it helps to transport nutrients from one point of the body to another we also have macronutrients what are macronutrients we have said these are nutrients that are needed in large quantity in bulk for the system on its daily basis or routine needs so carbohydrates is one of the macronutrients it provides energy it includes sugar starch and fiber under the macronutrients you have the protein which i told you the last time is essential for tissue growth repair enzyme production and they consist of amino acids some of which are essential and cannot be synthesized by the body so these amino acids are key and essential in building blocks in your body system this is so key because the body cannot synthesize some of these um, essential uh, nutrients and so you need to take in protein which is a precursor that will help to enhance those building blocks how about fats they provide energy and they assist in the absorption of fat soluble vitamins and are necessary for cell membrane integrity types of fats include the unsaturated the saturated and the trans fats let's see also the other ones micronutrients these are needed in small amounts but are critical for health examples include vitamins and minerals and i've told you vitamins are organic compounds like vitamin a c d which supports immunity skin health and also the bone strength i know that's referring to vitamin d now for minerals it's inorganic elements like calcium iron zinc which we refer to as trace elements if you remember which support functions such as bone health oxygen transport and immune function oxygen transport and immune function there are also non-nutrient components like dietary fiber these are actually important to the body to aid digestion and prevention of constipation so for those of you who take a lot of poma mm -hmm, the one you call um, animal skin 
that's a lot of fiber there and it's important for digestion prevention of constipation phytochemicals is also part of the non-nutrient components and they are naturally occurring plant compounds that lead that have what ld benefits beyond basic nutrition and that's why you hear of a group of people who would say they don't eat meat and all that for health reasons and they prefer to take only dietary fiber and sometimes or major times phytochemicals all plants the vegetarians very important and you see them living very healthy in fact you have a lot of radicals suspended out of the body because of their lifestyle they don't eat all those things that invite and bring in a lot of pressure on the system they just take plant compounds and indeed these plant compounds have a lot of benefits you can read more about it uh, when you search for um, vegetarian uh, lifestyle uh, you will know about them what they eat and so on and probably you find it fascinating so it's important that you are aware about that so that's all for this class classification of foods into constituents and nutrients i expect you to read up i expect you to take up your textbook it's a very short class this is the essentials that you need to know but also you should add more by taking up your textbook and then you read more about carbohydrates proteins and fats understand more about macronutrients as well as macronutrients i'll see you in the next class and in the next class we'll be talking about metabolism digestion absorption and utilization of nutrients thank you remember to drop the questions on your google classroom comment session i'll be in class to take care of everything when next we meet see you in the next class bye